we're talking Lovecraft Country. That's why we had to bring in the experts to help us out because that one is a complex story. We had to bring in the experts. So let me shout out to everybody and we will dive in. Cash Money, what's up, my friend? Futuristic Mike, I'm still waiting on you to join us, man, when power come back. Support Gaming, my family. Buzz always hitting me up. Marcus Bell, what's up? Olympia, Chris Peace. 703. We've got them all in the house. And because I brought this man up here specifically to help us understand what is going on with Lovecraft Country, we'll start there. Larry, I'm going to give the floor to Brandon first. Brandon, give me a yeah, two-minute overview of how you felt about last night's Lovecraft Country, episode number two. Thought it was pretty good, uh, especially the second time I saw it instead of the first. The first time it rubbed me the wrong way, but the second time uh, things opened back up to me. Uh, but just like episode one ended, you know, our boy Atticus Freeman, you know, he has this lineage, uh, mm -hmm. you know, th this 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 blood bond to I think his name is Titus Braithman from, you know, Braithwaite. Braithwaite. Yep. Titus Braithwaite. He's trying to, you know, find his proper birthright uh that was forgotten and so he's just kind of on that adventure right there and he kind of sees that he has some uh type of powers that his great 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 grandfather uncle left him you know trying to power up and getting that uh that garden of eden but something went terribly wrong and um you know everything came crumbling down so we just kind of kind of left on another cliffhanger like at the end of episode one yeah man larry your turn big brother what you think man I, I was I was loving it, man. That scene, that scene where they did where they were making them see all kinds of stuff, and and they were all dealing with their own sort of demons in there. It kind of mm. gave you a little bit of a of a I, I think of a whole lot of foreshadowing to see what what they're what they're going to talk about later on. Like uh, it looks like that Letty had probably been a victim of sexual assault at some point, and even though she she loves and, and wants to get with uh, Atticus. It looks like maybe she's afraid because of her, her, of her past. It looks like Atticus had something going on with, uh, you know, with that woman in Korea. That As a matter afraid. of fact, know there was something up with, huh? to, to add to your point about the lady in Korea, that's who he was on the phone with last week. That's right. right. Yeah. Right. And it's also and so, the same. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go for it. Uh, it's also the same woman. Uh, Y'all probably already said this. That was an episode one at the beginning that came down, right, you know, with the green, uh, mm -hmm. the green skin, and you know, of course, he was fighting her in the room, uh, you know, in his room, and she was in her uh, army fatigued or whatever. So, you know, yeah. I'm able to see what all that's about. Very mm -hmm. curious. Mm -hmm. I feel bad because in, in his in in that vision that he had where they were making him trip out, he killed her. So I'm I'm wondering what that's going to be all about. So. I don't know. It, that was just a, it was a it was a very interesting scene the way they did it and had those people in there watching them as they're going through this. It was a trip. But the I thought how I thought how um, his uncle had just had the best response when he rolled up and he was like, "Yeah, this isn't real. You're dead." Mm -hmm. You know, right, right, right. and it was just so. I it was almost like like the like the 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 people put the spell out there. They were just like, "There's no way we're gonna get this old school brother. He's too right, smart right. for this." And so they just came out and said, "Yeah, so what? Why not just let's just dance anyways? I'm here." You know, <laughs> right? Do you so have any idea who that could be though? Is that like his old wife, old muse, or something like that? I couldn't put that together myself. You, you, I, I I think it must have been a I must have been his wife before because maybe he's a widow maybe he was a widower before he got married or something I don't know that's what I thought previous yeah. wife previous wife he knew it wasn't real and I really hate that they let Uncle Freeman die because Uncle Freeman had that knowledge he was he was right. deep into the conspiracy theories he had all those books he had been reading about this stuff Uncle Freeman is the what is the reason. Atticus kind of start gaining a little bit of his power in this episode because he read the book that had all the dialogue and all the codes and textures for him to know that he can step up and take power from old boy that was just being bitched around by Olivia Pope. Right, so, right, right. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was like, okay, now he understands that. Right. But Larry, can I say that Christina Braithwaite Blonde chick, yes, but she was nothing to mess with. She's nice. 
Oh, oh man, she was nice. Boy, I love, you know? I love. Don't you like vanilla cupcakes? I do. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was. She was. <laughs> she was cool, man. She was, <laughs> it was cool. I'm still, I was still get with Letty. <laughs> Yes. Hey, because hey, 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 very yes, smooth Letty, for whatever reason has gone from cute to sexy in this show. I'm liking her in this show. I am, She's always I am been too. cute. She moved over to sexy for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah she, she did good. She did. Hey, so, yeah. One of my favorite scenes was when Atticus and Uncle Freeman went to the watch. I'm going to call it the watchtower, the stone tower where they had mm. that racist ass sheriff with the German shepherds. All right. Mm -hmm. And they was looking for the dad and she comes up about to shoot them. And then Letty just cold cops her right in the forehead with that shovel. Boop. Uh oh, right, right. yeah. Okay. okay. Fellas, we got to tone it down real quick. We're going to have to bow down, say our happiness is because look who has decided to join the conversation. It is yeah. the first lady oh. of review. I'm not anything down. I'm about what up, y'all? I know Larry didn't say something crazy by now. No, oh, of course I did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in my bed for this one. I apologize. I'm I'm just tired. I had to watch two kids today. I don't know how you do it. Oh, you I, just, good? I don't it's too much. You you good, oh. you good because I know what you mean with me just watching one. So let alone have two. You good. Mm -hmm. We're just glad to have you in the building. Yes, um, am I the only one that feels like I'm in a black version of the Brady Bunch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. Let me tell you something, Larry. I done told you what we are. These people have not seen a finer collection of black people on the same screen <laughs> since coming to America. I'm mm -hmm. Eddie. Uh, I'm going to let you be Mr. Slow, slow, slow go, Larry. And Brandy, what, what, what? you are slow glow. So go okay. I'll be. I'll yes. be. What was his name? Eric something. Um, Eric Lasalle. You Eric. Eric LaSalle. LaSalle. I'll be Eric Lasalle. Hey, <laughs> we got that fine collection on this Gosh. building. So, Sharonda, we're just following up on um, Lovecraft Country episode two. I know you've seen it, but we would like to know what were your thoughts on that particular episode as we're roundtabling what we thought were the key points. I really enjoyed the episode. It's really interesting because when I watched the episodes back to back, I actually thought that episode two was the weakest of the bunch. Mm -hmm. But actually watching it a couple of weeks after watching the first one, I actually enjoyed it a lot more watching I it yesterday. Same thing. I just said. Yeah. <laughs> if, to me, if, it almost felt like a finale episode. I mean, like it was, they packed a lot in that one episode, and I sat there and said to my wife, I was like, that felt like a finale almost. Yeah. If that, what's, what's interesting to me is like the official synopsis was already concluded in the first episode. Like we was going into this thinking that Atticus was just gonna be finding this uh his missing father, and he's already done that, you know what I'm saying? And so mm -hmm. everything coming now is just a, like a new surprise, like each episode. So I'm really loving it too. I mean, if this if this was like this episode was that good that it felt like a finale, I can only imagine how good it's going to be moving forward. <laughs> oh, my it's God. just going to be crazy. Yeah, it's just like, and I know some of you have already seen it, so boo hoo. But <laughs> <laughs> here we go. I, I can't wait for you. <laughs> you know, some of us, some of us peons haven't seen it yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, us folks in the bottom of the barrel, like me and uh -huh. Larry, we we don't no. get special privileges from the Anglo's that run Lovecraft <laughs> Country. We got, no. we just gotta wait our turn on the porch. That's all good, man. That's all good. I will, I will say this though, man. I'm wondering if if Uncle Freeman's not gonna stay dead because you know they were saying what's his name was gonna heal him, but it seems like Atticus has all those powers and more. He just needs to know how to use them. Hmm. That's so true. maybe he'll end up being out. I don't know because I mean I could be wrong. Somebody already knows, but I'm thinking that he's not gonna stay dead. He we might. Don't, but we don't know. We don't know. Sure. I mean, and if you if you read the book, George didn't die in the book. Mm. So I don't really? know where. They're, like I said, I don't know where they're going with this because his character definitely survived in the book. So when it happened, I was like, "What? What, Uncle George? What?" Yeah, yeah. And yeah. hey, you can't kill off Courtney B. Vance that soon. He's too big of an actor to get rid of that early. This okay, is but true. we thought they were gonna kill Sean Ben, and they sure killed him off on Game of Thrones. That's true. Well, That's Game, Game of Thrones, Thrones though. Yeah. Well, 
I Game mean, of Thrones was known for killing people off, though. They were just like, oh, you love that person? Cool. They yeah. had the, the, <laughs> it was Sean Ben's death that literally shook everyone. And you were just like, oh, so nobody's safe. Like, nobody is safe from getting killed off. Do I have a character so far? Who, me? Do you have a, out of everybody, do you have a favorite character so far? Mine is I go Atticus. back and forth between Letty. I go back and forth between Atticus and Letty. Mm-hmm. I know it's probably I like Atticus just because I lust after him, and I know that's not oh, a healthy. Here we family. go. Oh God. <laughs> right here now, we go. Don't feel bad because I, I've looked at Letty a few times too, you know, especially in a few of the future episodes. But yeah, I love yeah, her. But, but Letty doesn't have no viper genitals. <laughs> yeah. and, I, so, and I gotta be honest those were kind of some of the things that weirded me out with the episode I just kind of really wasn't feeling that right there it, would, it made me a bit uncomfortable it, you know just to be honest with you it but, was different because you know they had that in the pictures too when they kept right. showing the pictures in the background they had that had a guy yeah. his his privates was a daggone snake I guess that right. was their parallel to the garden of Eden and the serpent had somehow another Correlated to Adam somehow, some way, and they was trying to merge the two as one. Right. Um, it I, it's it's gonna be a barn burner, man. It is yeah. gonna be a barn burner. I kind of wish we would have saw what would ha- have happened if he succeeded in his plan. Like if he actually went through the Garden of Eden, or you know, they didn't mm-hmm. turn to dust. I I still to this point after seeing it twice, don't know what happened or like what went wrong. You know why the whole building collapsed? If y'all can feel Atticus me, went wrong. No, Atticus is what happened. No, I, I felt like it was because um, Titus Titus Brace White, the slave that I guess mm. he had got pregnant, somehow or another got out of there and led and led Atticus to follow her, and that's what was the issue that made everything go wrong. Something to that effect. Sharonda, what you think? Say that part again. My Wi-Fi do, is trash. Do, do you remember when they was going through the hole trying to open the gate for um, Eden? And Titus Braithwaite's slave, uh, who was pregnant, popped out, and Atticus was able to look at her. He tunnel visioned on her. She got out, and he followed her, and that created the whole downslide into everything. Um, what do you think about that situation? Do you think that has something to do with why it all went wrong? Oh, so, you know, our ancestors were trying to save us, okay? They said, not today, Satan. We are going to save you guys. We're not going to let these white people prosper, Okay. Probably what happened the first time when Titus messed the house up and he died in that fire. Yeah. Um, but actually, in the book, in in the it, and I, y'all, I'm so sorry. I keep saying, but girl, we talking about the show, not the book. But I'm just saying because it's <laughs> the context. So don't kill me, okay? And you good? In, in, you? in the book, Caleb, who is Christina, they switch, changed Christina to a woman for the show, which I think actually works better for motivations, but. Uh, Caleb did it on purpose. Caleb knew that the spell wasn't going to work. So Caleb knew, or okay, let me say Christina. Christina knew that her father would die because they wouldn't have done the spell right in the first place. So it was really like this ploy by Christina to kill everybody off so she can just do what she wants to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think, I think that they didn't have the spell right. I think that the ancestor definitely like intervene into messing up whatever they were about to do because when she messed up she like pushed something into Atticus which went to them and made mm-hmm. them stone and that's when everything started going to hell so you so know I'm assuming, I, I'm assuming that's who the black woman was that was looking kind of pregnant you know that was his, I think that was his great 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 grandma mm-hmm. when okay. um George is telling the, the one story that let him out of the house yeah, when George was telling the story in the woods about how Dora Atticus' mom told him about how her ancestors escaped through these woods, he was like, yeah. I don't understand how she made it through these woods. I think right. that's what he was referencing. Because when Dora didn't explore. Pregnant, she you're ran right. away. Because Letty did, Letty did mention that, like, oh, you're a something of a woman if you can run through these woods pregnant. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what she was talking about. So gotcha. does that mean that Christina Braithwaite is dead? She, no, she, I don't she, think she's she, dead. She's oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, man, I was about to be disappointed. I might not watch the show no more. Hold up, you baited me into a spoiler. Yeah, I, 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 I see. I was like, don't ask her, you know what I'm saying? We know. See, man. <laughs> hey, I know how to put bait out there. 
I know yes, how to put your hand out there. See, that's what happened when you're talking to a whole group of black people. You get excited, you start feeling comfortable, you just start getting loose lips. Oh, man, that's not a big one, though. She, no, no, that ain't nothing. No, she's no. not, she is not dead, though. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, you, you, I'm, I'm very excited for you guys to see what happens next with her character. So, um, now yeah. I, I've got a question Does anyone feel like, um, Atticus's father? was on the verge of killing Uncle Freeman when Uncle Freeman was threatening to tell the information he had about who was really Atticus's father. Do, does anyone get the feel that he was potentially going to kill him? Did you get that feel, Larry? I feel like they had some beef. I wonder, I was wondering if Uncle Freeman was, was Atticus's father. Hmm. I'm here. No, they, they confirmed that in the episode. Because remember, he told him, yeah, because he was like, he was like, hey, I don't care if you got a bullet in you. We settled that years ago. He's right. my son. So they, I mean, they. he confirmed that. And even when Dora appeared to him and she said, you know, we can take our children. I said, Dora, children, you don't, like, hold up. I said, George, you only got one kid. What you mean children? So that was the other hint that Atticus is his child. Oh. Well, I, I, Uncle Daddy. But what would be, the, what, what's the point though? Like, and, um, him and his dad don't even have a good relationship. You know what I mean? When he's coming there to save him, he has an attitude. You know, well, I mean, that no. goes back to remember in the first episode when Atticus got on George and he was like, Well, what happened when he put his hands on me? Like, you didn't ever come save me. And so that right. goes back to why he was like, That's my son. Like, we settled that I would do what I want with my son. You will not intervene. It kind of goes back to why he allowed the abuse to happen. And, right. you know, I felt like that was kind of a way to keep, I don't know if it was a way to keep his dad off his back, that if his dad felt, actually, I can't go into that because that would be a spoiler. I will be leading you into spoiler territory, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm mm. about to go read this book this week. You ain't the only one, man. It's no point to read the book because the they totally divert from the book. So after oh, these two episodes, there's no point to read the book for real. I mean, you no could way. read it for the fourth one, the four is is no actually the first few episodes follows, but they change so much that I don't I wouldn't say it's a point to read the book at this point. So did mm. you read the book like a long time ago or in preparation for the show? In preparation. Okay. I ain't mad at you. That's right? Me neither. <laughs> yeah, I like to read. I also like how uh, it was revealed that um Letty has some abandonment issues as well. And I think that's kind yeah. of what you know uh causes her behavior and she's kind of like a party girl and things like that saying that her mom was going out to do something but would yeah, always come back with another man. Man. you know yeah she was, was supposed to be going to church or something and always yeah. came back with a man until right. one day she just didn't come back right mm -hmm. right you know yeah so, okay, I I it. It. huh I was like, what church is this? Let me know. Y'all get down like this. Oh, my goodness. You, you know okay. what? Okay. I just want to let you know, we're going to get the first lightning strike by God live on, uh, on YouTube. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And we don't put them on the bottom layer. <laughs> we just going to see some smoke. It's going to come through and just going to see some smoke. <laughs> what happened to Sharonda? <laughs> <laughs> oh my you know, goodness. let's see if Atticus will come save her. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so to, to, to just sum up what we've seen so far, is do you guys feel like this has the potential to be an automatic classic from one season? I think so. Yeah. So far, it seems like it. Yeah. What I what I'm curious to know is is because I know. I know that Jonathan Majors can work on homes. We saw him do it on the on the uh, the last Black Man in San Francisco. I want to know if he's gonna fix that big old mansion. You know, he was already <laughs> fixing no. homes up. I don't think he has nothing else to do with that mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's probably got nothing but time on his hands at this point. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and who's gonna find who's gonna know he's gonna be bothered they can't no one can get in but i want to know what's gonna happen with those monsters since they killed off the people that were controlling them except for what's her name um the little blue-eyed chick you know christina christina yeah, yeah what are they gonna do with all those monsters 
The, the, how about the part when she was delivering birth on the couch? She pulled out the monster. Oh, God, I forgot. Oh, yeah. That. What was that about? Like, somebody called Peter because this, this ain't right. How do you yeah. guys look at a creature coming out of the couch? I was like, oh, look at the cow. And I was like, oh, girl, you gonna mess up that good blast? What you doing? And then the creature came out. And and she was all she was all face in the creature, up in the creature. Oh and, wow, yeah, in the world, it, it didn't make no sense. Nobody else around her was weirded out. I mean, like this is not a cow. They were all happy. This they is, were supporting it. Yeah, like there you go. Good job. You know, I mean, it was weird. It was very cultish. Now, can, can we talk about this? Can, let's talk about that sheriff one more time that had the the canines. What was the point of her? Other than other than taking care of the watchtower, what was her significant role in this particular episode? To, to get racist. knocked out by Liddy? To be racist? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be a racist. Yeah, pretty much. You know, <laughs> just to remind us that there are monsters other than uh, other than the ones in the woods. You know. Well, if I mean, all those white dudes was racist that was in the, the dining hall too. In essence. Yeah, but that was a little different with them because they because they were all a member of this order. Then they had to listen to them. They were, even though they were racist, they were sort of subservient, you know, subordinates. And whereas this chick was just a straight up racist, right. you know, yeah. she I was just a monster. And, and when Letty put her down, I don't know if she killed her because she looked like she hit her straight in the head. She had that big gash in her head. I don't know if she killed her, but if she did, I mean, oh well. Hey, hey but, that was one of my favorite parts. Yeah, I, do. I, I enjoyed every second of that. <laughs> Calling yeah. black folks monsters. Oh, yeah. I just wish Letty had those glasses on that she had when she was walking into the diner, so she could have dipped down and looked at her like, "Bitch, what?" You know, <laughs> and then put them back up and <laughs> <careful. laughs> you know, she hit her upside the head with them shovels, dipped them down, said, "Say some, say some." <laughs> oh, you can't because you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! We done got oh. a twenty dollars super chat, ladies sweet and gentlemen. November. Sweet November, <laughs> and when someone gives us a super chat, we always give them something funny to look at. And since she's never seen this one before, Larry, you know I'm gonna have to hit her with it. And we sweet go. November, we're not talking about you. I'm gonna try to do a little poetry for y'all. It's an original piece written by me, Fly Guy. And I want to dedicate this piece to all you players yeah. and all you ladies out there. Oh, Name of this piece is called My Bitch Better Have My Money. Yeah. <laughs> my bitch better have my money. Through rain, sleet, or snow. A Shakespeare. My hoe better have my money. <laughs> I'm telling you, that boy's a genius. Tell it. I have profit. Not some, but all my cash. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you, sweet November. Sweet and for November those of you said, that you better have my money, Lamont. I, I got it for her, man. She said I better have her entertainment and a great cast. That's right. And that's what I got today. <laughs> I so, just want to ask you, since, I just I just want to ask, since I have Sharonda and, and, and B Avery with us, I just want to I just want to confirm one thing. I just want to make sure that we all know still that Killmonger oh. is the rightful <laughs> ruler of Wakanda. I just have to make sure that we okay, you're never going to let this go, are you? No. I, I, bet you, no. I, bet you, I bet you Killmonger was one of the ancestors that was leading Atticus up out of there. You know? I love That's what it is. Y'all know what he's looking for, so let me get right. one. Damn it, I'll here we say. go. Yeah, go ahead and burn all that. My king, we cannot do that. It is our tradition. When I tell you to do something, I mean that shit. Burn it all! Man, you know, we, do you know what I'm going to burn? Everybody I'm going to burn that. Because, Larry, <laughs> we're not showing that no more. <laughs> I'm burning that. I'm burning that shit, Larry. We, we went through with Killmonger. We got to get rid of him, man. The Good rightful boy. ruler of hey, Wakanda. Man. See, I'm just saying. See, we were talking about birthrights. So I'm just, I was just staying on the same themes. We were talking about people in their rightful birthrights. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, brother. See? Okay. Don't support him. Don't right. Support him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sharada, knows she, Sharada knows she loves her some Killmonger. 
<laughs> oh, Kill Martin can get it, baby. Until he oh, starts killing black women. When he starts killing black women, I said, honey, I don't th- mm. so, I was like, we just killing our black women? What we doing with Kill Parker? Mm. This, this next show we're going to talk about also has someone that Sharonda would give the panty draws to, and his name is Duda. <laughs> She loves herself oh. some doodle, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I and we, 